Hall in. So it's Dougie Hall and Craig Hamilton going off the pitch. For Scott Lawson, the pugnacious Scott Lawson has to be said, just five foot eight, 15 stone two. But uh, very good player, too many Scots in the lineup. As you say, David, just losing some of the, uh, the urgency, the shape, some of the direction. And Argentina again try to set this mall up. The players come in. Roncero's there to help it on. So is this man, Fernandez Lobby again. Direct play. Down the left hand side, Contepomi. Contepomi, what a great little pass by Contepomi to Aramburu from Biarritz. Haven't seen much of him, but he's a good player too. Pichot, they're buzzing everywhere. The big replacement, Carissa. Well, it's all Argentina, it's turned over. There's a penalty to Argentina. Number eight. Number eight, wow. Number eight, Pitman. Well, this is Simon Taylor being brought across. Yes, it is. Told you in the first half, there was too many penalties around the tackle. This man was lying on the ground and reached out and slapped the ball down. No, it doesn't matter. Concurs. Wow. Could this be a turning point in this vital game? Contepomi on the break, great pass at the tackle. Taylor's there. He's well. He was on his feet there, not penalised. This was Carissa. Carissa went, and it came back. Taylor. Well, he must have been judged to have fallen down the far side and pulled it back with his hand. Meanwhile, so Taylor's off for ten minutes. Now we know all about this uh, Argentinian team and what they can do and a crucial phase of play this for Argentina they've gone for the line out expect the catch and drive especially against seven Scottish forwards Carissa two hands Roncero's right on him the Argentinians are there there's the try line this big eight tries to go the Scots bring them down once they have to bring them down again Cassita's there Lionelli the left winger starts firing to the open side Roncero's there again so is Ledesma the Argentinians smell blood I think Remember, Scotland, the man short here, stays on his feet. Hogs in there to collapse at this time. Well, the Argentinians, this is what they do so well. Again, they try to get the mall going, they do so. Fernandez lobby. Scrum. Well defended by Scotland, they turn it into a scrum. Anxious moments for Scotland here at Murrayfield. Well, I have to say, I think the scrum's probably the better option for Argentina at the moment. Eight against seven, they're already dominating Scotland. Straight! I'll give him I think you can uh, expect them to go for a big drive and a pushover. This is a big test for Scotland, look at them, here they go. This is their Cambo scrummaging again. They're going, they're keeping it straight. Well, has Cusseter given away a free kick? No, it's collapsed up the way, it's a scrum again for Argentina. 66 minutes gone, three points in it. Cusseter looks on, just on the pitch. Pichot up against him. Well, that went very low. Well, that's what Scotland have to do. They've got a scrummage low against this bigger, bigger pack, but they're doing well at the moment. Eight against seven. And Argentina then. Walking this through. Are they walking this through? Are the Scots offside? Yes, the hands up. It's a penalty to Argentina if this all goes wrong. Hassan. He's turned. It's a penalty to Argentina. Number seven. Not bound at the scrum, Ali Hogg not bound. Well, if I, if I was Mr. Pichot, I'd be going for another scrum, I think. This Argentinian front row is one of the best in the world. Rodrigo Roncero, Mario Ledesma, Omar Hassan. Stade Francais, Clermont Auvergne, Toulouse, three of the best club sides in the world. Here they go. They have the ball at the back of the scrum. Can the Scottish eight hold them? It's at Fernandez Lobby's feet. The referee is telling Ali Hall to stay bound. He's now telling the Argentinians that they have to keep going forward and now use it. Fernandez Lobby shrugs off Cusseter. Is he over? Well, he's certainly very, very close. Again, it's the mall. Pichot has it. Pichot just fumbles it down to that left-hand side. The Argentinians pressing away at this try line. Scottish with anxious defence. It's another scrum to Scotland, 12 minutes to go. 
well they're hanging in there by the skin of their teeth Scotland really scrummaging well this is a great tackle by Cusseter on lobby just holds him up long enough he's fractionally short isn't he well it was that close another scrum to Argentina the Scots regrouping the Argentinian back row will be thinking of a few party tricks around the base of this scrum anxious moments for Jason White Ali Kellogg just on the pitch Placement boot needed. The boot's got an injury, obviously. Craig Smith. Well, every front row has their trick, doesn't it? Doesn't it? A little bit of injury. Someone going down, take the breath, resettle, reset. They've got to be careful to keep this scrum up. Because I reckon if they go down. The referee may well be thinking about a penalty try. Argentina definitely on top at the moment. Yes. You get the feeling this is the crucial phase in this game. Scotland, remember, down to 14 uh, men. Simon Taylor in the uh, sin bin. Still, uh, 13 minutes. Just being told, still 13 minutes to play. Three points in it. A try apiece. Parks and Leonelli. An absolutely fascinating game developing here. And the crowd, well, wow, anxious screams as these big Argentinians scrum down again. It's at Fernandez Lobe's feet, at number eight. They're inching closer to the line. Lobe thinks about it. It's a wheel. Another penalty. Another penalty, says the referee. Stay here, stay last. Hand away, blue. Blue seven. P shot. Wide. Conte Pomi, is he over? Just short. And the Argentinians, they're actually over the Scottish line. Defence there from Andy Henderson in the midfield. The Argentinians are left. With a penalty. Going back to the original penalty. This is too tense. Well, the Scottish scrum disintegrated a little bit there. And I still think he's going to still think he's going to be thinking about penalty tries here. Think so. He's got to. Reminds me of a certain situation at the other end of the field in 1990, actually. <laughs> Argentina then. Now this looks an altogether more comfortable scrum for the Argentinians. Jacobson's done well, he came up, he kicked that through, it's play on as the referee here had come out. While Jacobson is to be thanked for that because Alan Jacobson took that up on the left-hand side of the scrum and just unsettled this team. I've got the bet. Well, it just came down to control at the back of the scrum, didn't it? Fernandez lobby at the tail. Roncero's on him. Another mall, four meters out. Number five, stretch. Well, Frank Haddon had talked during the week of sacking, Where are we? Captain. sacking the teams. And this could be very, very dangerous because we've he's... We've had now too many penalties down in here. Yep. We'll have another one in the bin if we don't sort this out. OK. What was wrong there? Number so five pulled them all down. So not it wasn't one man? Pulled no, down. that was more. Down, Another penalty, just go the line. Put the scrum. Well, another penalty. Time's on. Argentina. Unsurprisingly, elect a scrummage. 12 minutes or so left. A three-point game, Scotland in the lead by three points. Argentina just try to walk this, it's out, it's a penalty try. The Argentinians have been awarded a penalty try. Mr Dicker is under the post. Time off, The 18. crowd don't like it. 18. And Alan Jacobson, number 18, has just come on the last five or ten minutes. Kicked it out, OK? Kicked it out of it. Can I know who's in the scrum? We can do that. I can hook it. He can hook it within the scrum. A lot of arguing back by the Scottish team. Jacobson saying he can hook it. Let's have a look at this. Well, here we are. That's that's the ball at the back of the scrum, under control. Great close <laughs> close up camera angle. There you go. 
go. Well, well let, okay. That, that wasn't hooking it, that was just no, that was it out you the Okay, Argentina in the lead. And uh, Tonicini just um, strokes that through. The crowd don't like it, but I suspect that's actually the right decision. Scotland need a win, they're now losing by 19 points to 23 